hello welcome to my channel welcome to cat splash in this video you'll be learning how to make a diy asymmetric hair bonnet a very unique one if this is your first time of watching my video go ahead and click on the red button to subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you get informed every time i upload a new video thank you as good as so let's roll for this type of hair bonnet, the materials I will need are Ankara fabric, dog face pattern, then my sewing tools. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can as well use needle and thread to sew it. So let's go. And for the measurement, I'll be using between 10 inches and 13 inches. You can use between 10 inches and 13 inches, depending on how roomy, how big you want it to be. But for the purpose of this class, we'll be using 11 inches. Watch the way I'm doing the folding. I'll fold this way, then I'll fold again. I fold into two, then into four. Just the way you cut your circular pattern or you cut a circle into two then into four if you don't know how to make other types of hair bonnet check my other videos on slim hair bonnet and free edge hair bonnet the links are in the description box below check them they are very detailed so we fold into two then into four then we take our measurements Remember, we are using 11 by 11. Let's minimize the fabric. Okay. So 11. But this time around, I'm not going to form a circle. Because I'm not making a circle, circular bonnets. I'm making asymmetric bonnets. So 11 by 11. There we go. Where should I have the three perfect square? Good. Now I'm going to duplicate this top is satin. So after cutting it out, this is what I have, a perfect square. So what I'll do now is to duplicate it in dog face satin. Now I've cut it out in dog face satin. You can see. So having duplicated it now, I'm going to join the Ankara and the fabric together. So that's the next step. I can say I have a square here. The door face is in square. The Ankara also is in square. So I have two squares after cutting out. So the next step now is to join the two together. I'll face the right side together. The door face right side, the Ankara right side facing each other. So with our pinch sewing allowance, I'll go and join them together. Half pinch, all through on the four sides, half inch, half inch. So on the second side also, as well here and this place also. Don't forget to leave about three inches gap, a space to turn it inside out. So after sewing, I'll press the edges, then you will see the results. I've done the sewing of the edges. So this is the opening I left for turning it. So what I'm going to do now is to turn it inside out. Then give it a very good pressing. Bring out all the corners. So now I've turned it inside out. Then I've brought out the corners. The best way to bring out the corner to get a sharp edge 
is by trimming off any excess of the sewing allowance that's by the, at the corner. Trim off the excess or you notch severally so that you to be able to push the pointed edge out. So it will add beauty to my work. So now the next step now is to create a hole where I'll put the elastic rubber. So what I'll do is I'll fold this into two, then into four. The measurement we used was 11 by 11 inches. So after sewing, I should be having like 10.5 by 10.5 now. So this should measure 10.5 to 10.5 here too. So I'll mark 10 all through 10 inches, leaving the half inch for, uh, for the hole, for the elastic hole. 10 inches all through. 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches. So I think I will need to mark the 10.5 here also. 10.5 also. So I have two markings 10.5 and 10. I have 10.5. I mark 10.5, then I mark it at 10 also. So that's how I'm going to do it on the four sides. So I'll turn to this side also and mark 10.5, 10. 10.5, 10. 10.5, 10, 10. Then I'll fold it to the other side also and mark it. 10.5. I mark 10.5, I mark 10. I mark 10.5, I mark 10. 10.5, 10. 10.5, 10. 10. 10. that one is at the edge, then 10 again. I'll connect. This is the hole I'm passing the elastic over. So I've done it on these two sides. So I fold again. You can see the semicircle here. I fold this way again and repeat the process. Beautifully. I've done it on the four side. So by now, I should have a circle. So I have a circle. I have a circle. Yes, you know. Now I'll take it to the sewing machine and go and sew on the two markings, creating the hole, leaving some allowance where I'll pass the elastic rubber through. So I'll go and do that now, bring it back for you to see the outcome. Now I've done the sewing, creating the hole where I'll pass the elastic rubber through. So the next step now is to pass the elastic rubber inside the hole. I'll cut the elastic rubber measuring my head circumference minus two inches. The elastic rubber measurement is my head circumference minus two inches. So I'll pass it through the hole I left the other time. So that's the next step now. Now it's ready. Our dog ear bonnet is ready. Can you see it? Look, it's so cool. Now the cap is ready ready to wear you can see the four corners now forming dog ears so it's reversible you can as well use the satin area as outside then the ankara side for inside so stylish thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get informed every time I upload a new video. Also like my channel and share this video. Thank you so much. See you in my next video.